Hi, welcome back to Try It Tuesday. This week we're going to be making this really cute braided bracelet. So if you stop by the library on Tuesday at 4 p.m. or after 4 p.m., uh, we'll have little take and make kits outside for you. And uh, this is what this week's kit looks like. And inside your kit, you're going to find one of our lovely new bookmarks, as well as the cord that you will need to use to make your bracelet. It's super simple, super fun. You can make one for yourself, get uh, additional pieces of cord, make some for friends. Um, but let's go ahead and get started and I'll show you how to make this super simple uh, bracelet. Right here, I'll show you a little clasp at the bottom. You're gonna make one of those, not as difficult as it looks. All right, so you're just gonna get your cord, which we've already pre-cut for you. This is about 36 inches of cord. The first thing you're gonna do is lay it out and fold it over like this. So you want to make sure you have an overlap in the center. So your cord will go like this and you want to have three pieces right in the center about seven inches and about the same length on either end. It doesn't have to be precise. It's just so that it's somewhat even in the center and this middle portion where it overlaps you can get your ruler and double check but it's about seven inches there. So we're gonna have the camera zoom in on this portion here. So what you're going to do is you're gonna get this portion here, the outer portion, and you're gonna move it to the center of this. This is a loop here. You're gonna move it over the center there. So it's laying on top and in the center. Okay, I don't want my fingers to block this, but then you're going to pick it up just like that so that it is in the center, okay? And then you're gonna start braiding. And if you're not familiar with braiding, it's basically taking the piece from the outside and going to the center, and then the other side to the center. So we're gonna start with the right side, what's on the outside, and we're gonna go over the center, and that piece is now gonna become the center of the three. I promise it'll be easier to see once I I do it a couple times. Then we're gonna take the one that's on the far left and we're gonna go over the center, okay? Now we're gonna take the piece on the far right, go over and place it in the center. I'm trying to show you what's happening under my thumb there. Then we're gonna go to the left, take the piece on the far left and move it to the center. And we're just repeating that step over and over, kind of smoothing out the bottom here. Far right, put it to the center. Far left, put it to the center. So you can see your braid start taking shape. Okay, I'm just gonna do it a couple more times and then we'll pause until I get to the bottom. So far right, and then you wanna just adjust so it doesn't get tangled at the bottom. Far right to the center, far left to the center. Okay, and you're gonna continue to do that. And it does help sometimes if you have a partner holding the other side, or you could clip it. Um, but as you can see, it is doable uh, on your own as well. Okay, so we'll pause here and I'll show you what it looks like at the end. Okay, so when you finish your braid and you get to the bottom, You'll probably end up with a large um, end hole like this at the end, and I'm going to show you how to finish it off. So you, your string is sticking out the top here. You're going to lift it, hopefully you can see this, and then you're going to just twist the bottom so there's a tiny, tiny little hole. And you're going to take that piece of string through the top and down into the hole. And then you're gonna pull it through. And it, it acts as the uh, final knot on your bracelet. See that? All right, so now you got the center braided part. Now we're gonna make the closure where you can slide it together. And this is really simple. When I learned this, I was amazed. Okay, so you're gonna go back to the uh, beginning here and you're gonna pull it so that you can see a little hole at the top 
just at that very, very first loop. And then you're going to take the opposite end string and you're going to slide it through. The most challenging part of this is going to be sliding it in there. But once you get it through, it's very, it's only one more step after that. So there you see I got it through. Then you're going to do the exact same thing on this side. You're going to find the, the very last loop here and you're going to put this string through it. So the string from the opposite side so that you're creating closure. Actually, if you have like a little skewer or even a, a toothpick, that might help you slide it through. But there you go. Got it slide, uh, slid in there. And then the last thing you're going to do is you're going to make sure it fits over your uh, wrist. I've already trimmed this one, but if this is really long, you're going to slide this over, measure how long you want it, and you're going to cut off any excess. So this one doesn't have any excess, but if you have extra long string, you're going to just trim off the excess and you're going to tie a knot right at the end. And that's going to keep your bracelet from um, sliding all the way through and coming apart. Okay, you can slide that there. And then now you can slide this all the way open without fear of it falling, sliding right through. And then you can put your bracelet on. And usually this part, you'd need a friend to tighten it, <laughs> but you can go ahead and tighten it. So same with this one. So this one I made a little longer. And then you just pull the two, the two knots on either end and you tighten your bracelet. And there you have it. Make one for yourself, one for a friend. And thanks for joining us. Hope to see you next week on Try It Tuesday. Aloha.